Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to our live chat. I hope everyone is having a great day today and um, it's a Thursday, right? No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Oh, I'm already skipping days. Uh, but I do hope everyone's having a great day. I know you've had some fun with Renee this morning. So we're going to continue that fun. And um, we're going to see how easy it is to airbrush. And kind of going along with what Renee has said and talked about today. Again, no rules. And so it's a lot of fun. The fact that, hey, there are no rules on basically when you put when you put what on uh, with airbrush, you it doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can go in and do some traditional makeup, then airbrush or airbrush, then go in and do traditional makeup. So it's a it's a lot of fun. It gives you a lot more freedom and how you put it on where you can play with it and experience it. Um, so it's pretty cool. So now I'm actually going to go in and do a lip scrub. Hey, Patty, good to see you. I have our pomegranate lip scrub. I'm going to go in a little bit. goes a long way. And I'm just putting it on right up my lips. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And... You can do this in the morning, you can do it at night, you can do it whenever you want. Um, if your lips feel start feeling a little dry, um, it even has some vitamin E in it, so it's going to help nourish your lips as well. And it tastes really good. <laughs> it does. I always get in trouble, but don't eat it. But if you happen to taste it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. All right. I just wipe that off. Now I can um, go in and I'm going to do a little bit of lip jelly. Now I would, hey Nancy, if I was doing the, like when I get up and I do, if I do my lip jelly in the morning, I actually do it like buff it on, leave it on and then go in. I do it right before I brush my teeth. And that way it just comes off when I brush my teeth and I don't have to necessarily wipe it off. Um, and now I'm going to do the lip jelly. I feel like there's something on my hand. And I really do these back to back. Um, I think they're great to do together, but you don't have to do the lip jelly or the, oops, the lip scrub every day. Um, the lip jelly I do use every day because of how nourishing it is. It does, it is a plumper. And so I feel like it really preps my lips. So when I go in, do the if I'm doing the lip jelly and I go have my coffee and by the time I'm ready to put on my lips, I'm good to go. So yesterday we played with, with for when it was my turn, we played with the, um, the, um, the luminizers. And so I kind of want to continue with that. Um, but again, knowing there are no rules, I'm going to go in and with our regular concealer, I'm gonna go in and my eyelids are darker, which normally I airbrush over. Oops. But I'm gonna go in and I'm now using this Oh, and Patty's like, one of the things I ordered was the lip jelly. Hello, Amber. All right. So now you can already tell. I mean, look at that coverage. Does that, does that not look amazing? And if you also notice, I'm using it one eye at a time. This stuff... <laughs> does not move. Once it's set, it is on. So it is great as a primer. I can use it under my eyes as well. It's not going to settle into wrinkles and crinkles. It stays. It has some amazing staying power. 
And so if you think about it with our traditional makeup, we're comparing the staying power, the amazingness of airbrush to any traditional makeup that we make. And so, you know, I just think that's awesome because we do want that same power in our concealers, which is sometimes not something you find a lot of where it, the, if a tradition, if you use a traditional concealer, it sometimes creases or fades away. Um, I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried this one, it's amazing. Now you also see me use the peach color corrector. This one here for dark circles and for my eyelids. Look how close these are. So these also, this also, this one is buff. This almost works as a color corrector because it, it's going to even out my eyes. So when I use it under my eyes, or even if I came down and used it all right here to cover redness, those sunspots that I have here, all of that, it would really, really work and then not move throughout the day. I'm now going to take, and I just got it out. Where is it? I'm now going to take Rose Gold Illuminizer. So it's, um, Amber, it's not a foundation. It's a concealer. It is, um, of course, I don't have my glasses on. Nude Illusion and Buff. And Buff is the one that kind of acts as a color corrector. All right, so now I'm going to use the Rose Gold Illuminizer. Where's the name? There it is. Rose Gold And Every time I say Illuminizer, I'm going to go, Illuminizer, Illuminizer, Illuminizer. And I'm going to put my drops right in there. Ooh, that might have been a lot. Hey, Candy, how are you? So far, I have put on the Nude Illusion Concealer just on my eyelids. Um, I did do the pomegranate lip scrub and then applied the lip jelly on top all right there and then applied the concealer on my lids and now i'm using the rose gold illuminizer to get started let me um i'm gonna put the link to um the concealers because they're amazing they do come in Five different colors. Come on. Here we go. But Buff is the one that I used. And there you go. There it is. All right. So now, now I have Rose Gold Illuminizer, and I'm going to pretty much spray this all over my face. Um, I really like this illuminizer. Um, it does have some shine, so it's going to be more shimmer, shine, more illuminosity than the Love. And Love, you know, is a that hydrating illuminator. I'm also still keeping with, I'm going to go back. Hey, Tamberly, I still owe you an email, babe. Um, I'm going to go back and show you what we get in our starter kit. But um, the this one compared to Love, again, is going, you can already tell, like a lot of shimmer. Whereas Love, I wouldn't necessarily consider it a shimmer. I would consider it more luminosity. So this is what is in our starter kit. So if you're waiting on one, it'll look like this. It will have the system. It also has two bottles of foundation, your love and your blush. And our blush is super high pigmented, meaning it does intensify once it dries, or we like to say um, our blush blooms. And so when working with that, you can put it on first. Yes, you can put the blush on first and then airbrush the foundation over it. What I'm doing now with the Rose Gold Illuminizer you'll be able to see the same thing. And then when you're first starting out, you, we want you to get it out of the box. Get it out of the box and start playing with it. Just feel the air around your face. As soon as you turn it on, there's air that comes, comes out. And so wherever you feel the air is where the makeup's gonna go. And so you can also put water in here and just spray your face. 
and feel it and, and experience it. And you get to experience it before even putting the makeup in there. Um, and so you do want to make sure that you keep your stylus moving, which makes sense because you're putting the makeup on the face. You also want to stay about four finger widths away. With this, what I would recommend, get a paper towel or drawing paper. I have to use this hand now. And spray it on that. Get four finger widths away and play with it on, on the paper. That really will show you that it's a perfect distance. If you get too close, it's too precise, which makes sense when you're doing eyes. And then that four, if you get too far, it's just going to kind of, it doesn't do enough. And then barely pull back on the trigger. That's the one thing you really do want to practice is the letting out of the product. This is not your traditional makeup. So we do want it to come out super, super light. Whether you like full coverage, light coverage, medium coverage, it doesn't matter. You're still pulling back the same on the trigger. The passes it will is what will give you the coverage, all right? Oh, that's okay, Tamberly. Tamberly confused me a little bit with her Facebook and her YouTube. So not a problem, girl. I was like, what? All right. So now I have, you can see, I have a lot of shine going on right now. Um, and because there are no rules, I'm like, what else can we do? I mean, I kind of want to do things a little differently. Um, let's do some eyes, shall we? So I'm going to go in. And I'm going to use the click and plays. And I'm going to start with coffee bean. Coffee bean is that deep, beautiful brown, gorgeous. Um, now, because I do have the concealer, I have some color. I have a light, neutral color on my lid. So with a blending brush, I'm going to go in and just blend it. I think I just, I'm like, how can I do this differently? Let's just do it. I'm not going to bring it over as much. I'm just going to keep it right on the outside. Now, right now, I'm just going to concentrate on just getting it on. So I'm not, I'm just getting the color there and I'm not necessarily blending it right now. So now I can go back again, not wanting to really blend it over. I'm going to keep it just on the outside corner. And when I'm blending, I'm not even picking up the brush. I'm just kind of going back and forth, back and forth, so lightly, almost in a V shape, but super, super light. I am glowing. Amber's like, you're glowing. I am. Gosh, I just, I love that. That's beautiful. And then now I'm going to take this one, which is Spark. That gold, which I love. And I'm going to go in and just with my finger, I mean, look at that pigment, guys. Is that not amazing? I'm going to tap it right on, let's start just right on the, where the iris, where the color of your eye would be. I'm not even going to bring it all the way in. Just right there, kind of making a square. Ooh, I'm lucky. All right. So I just put that color right there. Make sense? So I did a little square or right where the color of my eye would be, kind of a V shaped on the outside. The rest is just the concealer that I used. And now I'm going, there's a harsh line right there. And so I do want to make sure that I blend that. So I don't have a very harsh line. All right. And then going back, well, let's do a lighter. I'm going to line underneath and using, hmm, what should we use? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll use, go ahead and use coffee bean just to stick with the two. So I'm going back to coffee bean doing the the tip of a flat eyeshadow brush 
and lightly because it is very high pigment going to smudge that right like that all right there we go i'm loving it okay now what else can we do let's go in let me put these up. So that was that eyeshadow was only with two shades in the click and play. Um, again, I already have some color because I used the uh, concealer and I used the concealer in buff. Now let's go in. I'm going to do natural blush. Although I think that's going to be too, the natural blush gives you um, some shimmer, has a little bit of a shimmer to it, very subtle, but it does have some shimmer to it. And honestly, I just, I think it's going to be too much shimmer since I do have this on my face as well. So I'm going to go in, let's use, ooh, let's see. Would the Kick and Play base work for the other eye palettes as well? Oh, yes. The uh, primer in the Click and Play would work with any, any of the eyeshadow palettes. It's a great primer. Um, and I really love it because it's so, um, it's creamy. Again, I just put it on with my finger. All right. I'm actually going to use Tulip. So I'm going to put a couple of drops in there. Tulip is the lightest, pinkiest blush. And I'm going to go in. All right. And aim it right at my cheeks. And start my cover, or start the blush. I love our click and plays guys. If you haven't had a chance, hold on, I'm going to put that out too. If you haven't had a chance to look at the click and plays, you need to. Um, I'm going to put that up as well. I love them for several reasons, but a couple of the reasons would be, hold on, paste is the fact they, you can pick and choose what you want. Yes, we do all kinds of palettes for you and stuff, but um, you can pick and choose what you want, if I can figure out how to do this, and they click together. So if you travel a lot, it makes an amazing, <laughs> I mean, they tra they're flat. Look how flat they are. So you can travel with them. You can only, you know, even if you have, whoa, even if you have all of them, you can just take the ones that you need. So it's really a great deal. Oh, you're getting the quad one and two. Oh, awesome. All right. Look how bright and pinky. I'm going to clean out my stylus real quick. It is sputtering a bit. And I'm, going to, I'm just putting a little bit of um, tip top cleaner through it just to make sure. Sometimes, again, we talked about this yesterday as well. With the luminizers, they get a little, uh, they're, they're, it's a heavier pigment. And so it will kind of... If you don't shake them up, it might sputter a little. Your stylus might sputter. So just make sure you clean it and shake it up. Shake it like a Polaroid. All right. So now I shall go in and I'm going to use a glow. Here it is. I have been really, really liking the glow underneath for a highlight. So I'll go in. I have my blush. I have my, I did concealer on the top lid to cover the darkness of my lid. And now 
I have rose gold illuminizer all over. That's why I'm so shiny. Tulip blush. And now I'm going to go in and I already have my eyes done, but it's not going to mess up what I've done. See how nice and highlighted that is? I love that. Woo, love it. Love it. And so now I'm going to go in with Silk. And this is my foundation. I'm using the Silk 4-in-1. I was going to use, I just I think I sprayed some on my face. That's it. Yep, I did. As I was moving my stylus around. So I got a little spot right there when I was clean because I cleaned it and turned it towards my face. So look, you can go in, you could also just tap it out and it's fixed. Bam. Bam. I thought I had. Oh. Okay. So I'm going in and I'm, gosh, I'm only going to put like five, four or five drops. It's really all I'm going to need since I already have all my coverage. So now I go in and I make one full pass. Yeah. And I love to make one full pass to kind of get the ball rolling. You know, we, we talked about the coverage happening when you're making those passes. And so going in and making one full pass gets the ball rolling and then you can go in and see, okay, where do I need my coverage? So I'm going to go in to blend. You'll start seeing the shine kind of lighten a little bit. It's not going to go away. That's not what I want it to do, but I do want to tone it down a bit. Oh, yay. Amber's loving the peach or the tulip blush. All right, so that was four drops. And now I can look in the mirror. Do I need more coverage? No, I don't think so. I mean, I have some great coverage. If I needed more coverage, I can always go back, add a couple of drops, and then do more coverage. You don't want to fill this up thinking, oh, I'm going to use all. You're not, you're not going to use all of it. You don't want to use all of it. That's not how airbrushing is. So use, when you're first starting out, just use five or six drops. If you need more coverage, then go back and do a couple more drops. But I guarantee you, if you're filling this up, you're going to be wasting a lot of makeup. A lot. All right. So cheeks done. Loving it. And with my blush. Um, and then I have the, I mean, I'm getting that awesome glow from the rose gold illuminizer and now i don't where am i clean oh there they are I'm grabbing a tissue so i can go in and blot and i'm going to use which one do i want i'm going to use stark lip liner or maybe let's do chestnut because I have the brown thing working. I'm going to use chestnut, which is our brown, like a neutral brown. But I'm going to go in very light. I mean, look, I barely have to put this on and it just. It's like butter. Now, also, <laughs> I'm like trying to think of everything I want to say. The fact that I had that lip jelly on, even though I blotted it, it's still conditioning my lips and I, they're still, I'm still able to get some movement in there. So I don't want those exact lines and I don't want to be super dark with my lip liner. So when I go in just to get the color on, I can still rub my lips together to smudge out the lip liner. And I can go in.
and smudge it with my fingers too. Just like that. All right. And then what we have been doing <laughs> is using the lip jelly. This is it. Yeah. As our as our lipstick. So right in the center. Right here. Adding the lip jelly to the chestnut lip liner. And you can use the chestnut, you can use the uh, lip jelly, you can use unicorn, you can use um, the clear lip finisher, um, you can use anything you want. And then I can, let me put this guy up. So I can see everything. I like it's on my teeth. Who asked? <laughs> oh, oh, you make eyeshadow look so <laughs> Baby, it is. It is so easy. Guys, it that's that if you don't know, that is my passion. It is my passion on teaching women how easy makeup can be. Whether, you know, maybe you didn't have a mom that taught you everything, maybe you weren't a makeup girl until later in life or maybe I don't know. Anyone can do this. Guys, I did two eyeshadows. I can do it with just one. I mean, even doing that little part in the crease it does not it is not that difficult it is not that difficult the movements i made i put my i put the color in and i didn't even lift up i'm just going back and forth making kind of a v shape but didn't even pick up the brush and then this i did with my finger so it really is easy easy to do i promise i promise i promise um Jeannie, who does uh, somebody asked if I was married? Um, you, I promise, I promise, guys, you can. It might take some practice. What I find is doing your out. I used to do it in reverse, but what I found is doing that crease color, and it doesn't have to be this dark. You can use a super light uh, brown, you know, like a medium brown. You don't have to start off with a dark amber. Asked if I was married. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's so sweet. Um, but no. Oh, I am not married, but I'm taking applications. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even see that. Um, but yeah, it can be so, so easy. I'm going to finish the look with Distraction Mascara. Just brushing that right on. And using the tip of it to get on the bottom lashes. Maybe we'll do one on just eyeshadow so I can show you how easy. All right, brushed the mascara and bam, we are done. There you go. It really is easy, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, guys, I'm going to be back here at four. So make sure you come on board and we'll be back. Um, and then tomorrow, let's talk I um, how to do eyeshadow. We can do that. All right. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.